Middlesex slipped down the South Group table of the NatWest T20 Blast, going down to an informed Glamorgan side by nine wickets with 21 balls to spare at Old Deer Park. Put in after losing the toss, Middlesex lost David Milan to the first ball of the second over as he lost a stump to Sean Tate, who was right on the money first thing. Milan was out for a single and the same over was concluded with the wicket of Paul Sterling, who did well to edge a wide ball from the Aussie pace man behind to fall for 10. So with the score on 13 for 2, there was some early work to do for Owen Morgan and George Bailey, but it was a bit of a struggle against a team which had won six of its last seven T20 games. Morgan happy to feel bat on ball whenever he could. But the total had only got to 33 for 2 at the end of the six overs of power play and then Bailey was trapped in front by Craig Mesheda for a drawn out three. Middlesex then slipped to 39 for four in the eighth over, the decision to keep Colin Ingram at slip this late on paying off as John Simpson was out for five. And would you believe it, two balls later, Ingram was involved again, Tim van der Gooten removing James Franklin for a duck, the bowler with a very rare double wicket maiden. By the halfway stage, Middlesex had stuttered to 52 for 5. Morgan now a key man for his team with more than half of those runs. Middlesex had to wait until the end of the 15th over for their first six of the night, that going to Morgan. But like a London bus, the next one followed immediately as Ryan Higgins swept Dean Koska flat over the rope. It was time for liftoff. Morgan then drove Koska for his second maximum and the second of the over to take Middlesex to their ton and their batsman to his 50, one which had been made off a patient 46 balls with two sixes and four fours included. The atmosphere at a packed ground changed completely as suddenly there were a whole host of boundaries from both batsmen, the two building a significant partnership of 69, one which was ended as Morgan just failed to get enough on this shot off Graham Wagg to be held at Cow Corner by Anorin Donald for 58. So with three overs left, the score read 109 for six and now much relied on Higgins, who passed his previous T20 best of 44 with some crucial hits at the death. His second maximum took the 21-year-old to his maiden T20 50, one made off 37 deliveries with four fours also struck in what was a very valuable knock for his team. But he lost Toby Rowland-Jones in the last over, Rudolph with the catch at long off. Ollie Rayner then came and went in a flash as Michael Hogan struck again, Middlesex in the end making 144 for 8, Higgins on 58 from 48 balls, a valiant effort to give his side something to defend. But Mark Wallace struck an early 6 in reply off James Fuller's first over. And he also went after the same bowler in his second, as the visitors made just the start they wanted, with the experienced left-hander leading the way. The 50 was up in the sixth over, by the end of which the Welshman had eased to 56 without loss, needing a further 89 to win for the seventh time in eight. It was all far too easy for Glamorgan, even after Lloyd was caught off a thick edge off Souter for 49, that wicket ending an opening stand of 125. It was a disappointing game as far as the home side were concerned, but they are still reasonably well placed in the South group, which is tight. And next they take on Somerset in Taunton next Friday.